guys this is Aman from Informatica Tech and I am back with another tutorial for you guys and in this tutorial I am gonna show you guys how to edit or enhance a group photo or a portrait of yours or anyone else okay let me show you an example first now it's a portrait that I edited in the left side of the screen you can see the before image and in the right side of the screen you can see the after image now here's the next photo it is a group photo that I edited and in the left side of the screen you can again see the before image and in the right side of the screen you can again see the after image ok let's start ok before we start please give this video a like and comment to show us your support ok for this effect you will need in Adobe Photoshop first of all open up your Adobe Photoshop then go to file then go to open then choose your image first I will show you how to do this effect for a portrait next convert your image to a smart object I will tell you a minute later why we converted it to a smart object now the most important effect that I will be using in this tutorial is the radial blur to applying radial blur go to filter blur radial blur ok choose the blur method to zoom and quality to best and choose the amount to or to 15% I am choosing here 15% ok now the spot now this spot represents the center point of the image now you have to choose the center point of your image for now I am choosing the nose of this person the center point so I think I should raise the center point a bit upwards I think this will be fine then click OK to apply the effect OK now here's the secret why we converted our image to a smart object OK uh, because radial blur we can't see the live preview in radial blur and to edit the radial blur again and again we can we have to only do is now double click here and uh, and move your center point at the spot where you want it and then again click ok to apply if we not do this you have to again and again you have to open the image and you have to again and again apply it ok now we are going to customize our radial blur with a layer mask for this choose for this choose your foreground color to black choose your brush tool by pressing the B key on your keyboard then open the brush option then decrease the hardness all the way to 0 and size approx 100 pixels sorry 100 pixels and opacity to around 40% now click on the this white area in the radial blur to select it now now use the left and right third bracket to increase your decrease your brush size now I'm going to increase my brush size a bit I think this will be fine now I'm going to paint over the area to decrease the effect of the blur okay now I'm cursed I want to uh, reduce the blur in the in this person's t-shirt also so I am decreasing my opacity to around 20% now I am going to paint over the area of this person's t-shirt ok this is fine ok now we are going to color correct our photo for this click on the circular button here then go to color lookup now you can choose any of the effects here for this tutorial I am going to use uh, horror blue yeah this is it now I am going to customize my color lookup also for this click on the white area here of the color lookup and, and be sure to place your color lookup layer above all of the layers now I am now click on the white box here choose your foreground color again to black choose your brush tool 
then choose the opacity to 50 percent now, now we are going to paint over this person's face instead of a bit of the color okay now you can see the bit of the color is restoring here and is giving and it's giving a nice effect here okay now it's looking absolutely fantastic according to me i think i, I should paint here now. okay and now we are going to do it for a group photo for group photo again go to file then go to open choose your photo now again we are going to convert it to a smart object again we are going to apply the radial blur effect here radial blur keep the same settings just we are going to edit our center point i think center point should now here's our radial blur effect is applied I think we have to transform the image. Now here's our radial blur is applied. Now we can see it's giving a very nice effect. Now again we are going to customize our blur. For this again choose your foreground color to black. Choose your brush tool by pressing B key, key on your keyboard. Decrease the hardness all the way to zero and choose the opacity to around 40% and use the left and right bracket to to increase or decrease your brush size. Now choose the white area of the of the smart filter. Now I'm going to decrease my brush size. Now you can zoom into your photo for perfect precision. It's a tip from me. I I will recommend you to just paint the face with opacity 40%. Don't paint the hair here because it's going to give a nice effect. So I'm going to paint the face. Okay, the face is edited. Now choose your opacity 20% and now we are going to customize it a bit more. Then increase then increase your brush size a bit. Now paint over the area of the t-shirt of these guys. Now Okay. Now we are going now decrease opacity a little bit more around 15%. Increase your brush size. Increase your brush size and paint over the whole image. Now now we are going to give a color correction here. Again we are going to use our color lookup filter. Again click on the circular button here go to color lookup for this image i am go i am using code i think this will be fine yeah this is very easy now as you can see in a very easily and we can edit our any portrait or a group photo to make it more awesome now thank you for watching this tutorial if you have any queries just write it in the comment section below i will help you out Thanks for watching this tutorial once again.